na ni kutoka mtu ametoka na tunaambiwa ni nzuri hii ni biblia usione ni kitabu ni biblia imechapwa na tunasoma nayo na ndio ninakufundisha nayo sikiza kwa makini bwana asifiwe kuna swali tunaulizwa hapa if you had cancer in your body kama uko na kansa kwa mwili yako ni wangapi hawawezi taka kansa iwashike mimi siwezi taka haya sawa uko na kansa kwa mwili yako leo endelea anatuuliza would you want this cancer to remain in your body wewe utataka hiyo kansa ubaki naye kwa mwili yako vae ehe or would you want to have a doctor cut it out and get it ama utataka uende kwa daktari akate hiyo kipande cha kansa itupwe mbali utataka gani Asituongee itataka kansa ikae kwa mwili. So that's why God is telling us sometimes that division is good. Let them go. Let them go. Amen. If they are cancer let them go. I say let them go. Let them go. If they are there to kill the church of God as the cancer let them go. Hey, I say let them go. Is that what is true? Is it true or fake? It is true. Yes. Na ndio nafanya wakati kama huu. Wa mama wale wameolewa wakasikia uchungu ya ndoa inafanya unatoka kwa hiyo ndoa, si ndio? Maana wa mama wengine wanauawa nyakati hizi ni uongo ama ni ukweli. Hiyo ni ndoa ambayo iko na You understand? Lazima hiyo ndio lewe uondoke ndio moja apone na moja akufe. Haleluya. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Inaeleweka? Amen. Twende. Tunaendelea. The healthiest thing a person can do is to get rid of the cancer. Rudia tena. The healthiest thing a person can do is to get rid of the cancer. Jambo ambalo ni muhimu. Eh? Ni kufanya nini? Umeelewa aje? Kufanya nini? Kuondoa kansa. Ili mtu afanye nini? Apone. Sasa hebu twende. Ngoja usikie. Twende. The same is true in the church. Hili jambo ni ukweli na ndio tunaiona kwa kanisa tufungue macho tafadhali tufungue mawazo I want you to learn something nataka ujifunze Usione mtu ametoka kwa kanisa anaenda unasema hata kanisa imebaki tu hey hata udiheri ubaki peke yako kuliko wote kansa kwa mwili yako Do you understand yes. ni Mungu anasema ama ni mimi yes. if they are cancer let them go You had something nilipata mimi. Umeipata? Sometimes the best thing that can happen to a church is for certain people to leave it. Sa zingine jambo ambayo inafanyika kwa kanisa ni vizuri watu wengine waondoke na wa waondoke na wa Is it me saying? Ni mimi ninasema ndio saa zingine mdona pasta anaumia ananyamaza mkadhani pasta anasikia vizuri ama anasengenyana mimi sina masengenyo na mimi naomba mapasta wengine wasijue na masengenyo wawe na mafundisho ya ukwe ya ukweli mama unasikia amen it is better sometimes they go you understand If they were to stay in the church they would destroy it. Kama watabaki hapa wataua kanisa. Inaeleweka? Inaeleweka? Hebu wacha niseme kama wakati nimekuwa na kijana ni kiongozi ya vijana na nachukua msichana mmoja ambao nimengangana nimeweka kwa kanisa anaenda anaweka kwa nyumba yake anaweka kama bibi yake kama ni msichana yako utakubali. Hiyo 
Ebusikizeni watu wa watoto nani? Mjiu kweli bali kwa sababu mnaujua. Ameandika hiyo sio kwa ajili ya mjiu kweli bali mnajua lakini wakati tunajua tunataka kupishana na Mungu. Tunataka kufurutana na wachungaji wetu. Tunataka kusema ni Joa amefanya vibaya. Nataka kusema ni Joa amefanya vibaya na unajua neno ni kweli huyo mtu si wetu hata ulikuwa unasikia naongea mambo ya pasta anakuja kwako anaanza masengenyo utajulia wapi wako na masengenyo kama sio mtu amekuja kwako amekuambia mimi pasta natembeanga aa nililie mkono kama nimewahi kuja kwako nikaleta msenyeo niambie bayo nimewahi kwako nikasema e unajua pasta fulani alifanya nimewahi lakini wao watakuja kwako wakuambie maneno ya uongo na wewe utabeba hiyo maneno ya uongo uanze kuja na usema unajua kuna maneno mnaongea huku na kuna mtu ameongea utabaki peke yako unanielewa mtu mgonjwa si mnasikia mtu akiwa na AIDS anaenda akiambukiza kila mtu na anasema hataki kukufa peke yako Mnanielewa? Mtu akiwa na dhambi anataka kuambukiza wale wengine. Malizia. Na pia mnajua kwamba uongo wote haupatikani katika ukweli. Mnasikia? Uongo yoyote haitapatikana kwa neno ya ukweli kama hii. Hao uongo wataenda kutafuta nje, watakutafuta nyinyi. Kuambiwa uongo ndio mwanguke. Mnaelewa? Uongo haitapatikana kwa ukweli na ukweli haitapatikana kwa uongo. Sinaeleweka? Yeah. Tuambie sasa. We learn about certain people who left the church. These people never really belong to the church. Rudia hiyo. Tafadhali. Kwani ni watu aina fulani who left the church? Wale walitoka kwa makanisa wakaenda these people hawa watu never really belongs to the church hawajawahi kuwa watu wa kanisa hilo hata kama unaona wamekaa miaka nyingi hawajawahi kuwa mama unaelewa umewahi kuwa kwa makanisa mengine isipokuwa hii si unaona vituko watu wanauua kanisa ukiona lakini wamekaa kwa kanisa miaka nyingi hata mnabaki mkijiuliza ai fulani mwenye alikuwa na ubiri hivyo Uh -huh. They were not really saved. Hawakuwa wameokolewa. Sasa hapo ndiyo kuna shida. Tumeishi kwa kanisa miaka nyingi lakini hatutaki uokovu wa ukweli. Mam, ni ukweli? Yes, we are in the church. Lakini hatutaki uokovu. Look at me. Hatutaki uokovu. Sasa Mungu anasema tuoko kama tusiokoke. Tuokoke. Saa hiyo itafanya watu watoroke maana si wetu. Unajua kama tumeokoka Yesu anasema walioitwa wana jina look at me. Wale wote washaitwa wana jina wamekiri jina la Yesu Kristo wamefanywa kuwa wana ni watoto wa Yesu. Yeah. Tena anasema ni wadugu zangu. Haleluya. Yeah. Sasa when you do not have salvation, you are not belongs to Jesus. Oh my God. Do you understand me? Yes. Sasa hiyo mahubiri leo na ubiri hapa ndio watu watakaki. Wanasema pastor fulani alienda huyo ndiye angehubiri. Huyo anatoboa sana. Nitatoboa because siku hii tu kupanda mbegu ya dhambi anaitwa kupanda mbegu gani Baba umenikasirikia siku hizi lakini sijali Bwana asifiwe Amen Tunaendelea By the living the church was not hurt Wakitoka kanisa ijafanya nini Kanisa ijaumia baba wapi umeumia wewe kama ni mimi pastor Mary sijaumia he nani anasema umia kanisa haijaumia kama nimeondolewa kansa mimi nikupona nimepo hey kanisa hujaondolewa kansa wewe hey lazima uchue nimewahubiria mara mingi nikakwambia mamu 
unafanya kazi jua rafiki na adui lakini nyinyi adui ndio wanawakula ulisema ati mimi na not hurt but it was helped imesaidika kanisa imesaidi imesaidika hiyo ni sauti ya Mungu sio yangu so mimi sitaki kufuata watu nataka nifuate sauti ya nani na ukifuata footstep ya Mungu utaokoka enola ukifuata nyayo za baba yako ndio ni nimetolea maji nimekuita mbele watu unasikia vipaya i must say mama huyu mtoto ni wa huyu mzee si mnaona kichwa yao akifuata hiyo step foot step ya baba yake ama aone pale baba yake amesimama aende asimame hata dui wakimuona hawatamfikia watasema ako na baba ya yeah. mnaelewa yeah. mtoto wa nyoka yeah. mtoto wa punda yeah. mtoto wa umbua yeah. mtoto wa shetani yeah. mtoto wa mungu yeah. yes they know wekesa baba ni wekesa inaeleweka tukiwa na Florida watu wanasemanga tabia ya huyo msichana inakaa ya mama ya na sinafanana hata ukimtafuta hawezi kupata haya sikiza hawa watu tunaongea juu yao eh rudia kama unasikia kizungu sikiza kwa makini na mwenye asikie nitakubadilishia These people are trying to bring false teaching to the Wanaleta hao watu wanaleta mafundisho za uongo kwa kani? kanisa. Ya kufanya kanisa ianguke. Ni mimi ndio nasema. Mtaambiwa maneno mengine hata hujaisikia maisha ni mwenyu. There is a time. Ningekuwa hapa wazee peke yetu niliombea. Wale tulikuanga siku nyingine jioni. Joan mtu akasema mama alikuja akaongea par you remember that thing? start of god's truth oh my god back to the earth you must they cause division because they refuse to start of god's truth wanaleta mtawanyiko maana hawataki kusimama na ukweli wa neno la bwana mnaelewa yes. yeah. sasa wanaleta mgawanyi na wewe kama una neno la ukweli mbele ndani yako si uta, uta, utadanganywa si ndio so mimi kitu napenda ni neno la ukweli biblia kanisa tunasomewa neno endelea we must avoid such people lazima tuepukane na watu kama hao ni mimi ninasema rudia hapo we must avoid such people lazima tuepukane na watu kama hao sasa ninasema tuepukana nao wewe ukitoka we ndio unaenda unakutana na wao he ulienda kanisa kanisa inaendeleaje he wewe ndio ulikuwa nasemwa hatuna haja na watu tuna haja na neno na watu wale tuko haja na wao ni wale wanajenga mwili wa kri Haleluya. Mwenye anakuja kanisani kama wewe. Na umejenga mwili wa Kristo ni wewe tunakuitaji. Na wacha tufikishe hapo ile mebaki mtoto wangu ni next week. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunasema ni asadi kwa kuwa we ni Mungu mkubwa. Mwenye nguvu